Hi everyone, welcome to the Behind Enemy Lines podcast. Today we are going to be looking at Ryan's Leathernecks. That's an American Marine Strike Force uh, for Team Yankee as part of uh, my actual uh, going to build a Team Yankee army. I kind of stalled on the Brits because I opted for Berlin Camo, but we're going to start again uh, with Ryan's Leathernecks. Now let's uh, check this out. Back of the box, we get three M60 patterns in it and six Humvees. Uh, these are all plastic, which is really cool. I like that. Uh, we're going to open the box in a second and we'll take a look inside to see what the contents are. Okay. So, as you'll see, as you'll see, well, there you go. Uh, it contains a whole bunch of plastic screws, like I said it did. Um, but you get your cards. They have decals in them, which is kind of cool. Uh, the crew is all metal. We'll just get one of the Stinger guys out to show you. So there's a few options with the Humvees, which I'll show you later. One of them will be the little Stinger guy. So all the crew that pop out the top are metal, so none of that resin plastic that everyone seems to not like. Uh, there's also a mini Team Yankee rulebook, which is awesome and super portable. I like that. Um, cards here. Shows you there's a different strike force, like some sort of tank company. It's like an all-American... Oh, I couldn't really read it, probably. I'm just recording after the fact. And the Marine Corps. Um, I'm going to do a lab force, uh, because I like choppers. Uh, now, not choppers isn't choppers, but, you know, tanks that chop little tanks. Now, this is cool. I hadn't seen the other side of this yet. I saw the round bottom of the M60, thought that was nice, but then I saw the top deck. Now, I'm not sure if the camera picks up on this, but this is super detailed. If you've got the resin one, it doesn't even compare. Now, Greg told me these were simple to put together as well, so that's a really good feature. Now, the Humvee, I counted, I think has about seven parts that you'll need to use. Uh, probably eight if you include the driver. It's got a M249, a 50 cal, uh, the M40 grenade launcher, uh, also has the tow missile system, but they're really basic, really simple to put together, just pop them out, glue them together, and they're all keyed, so you can't make any mistakes. It's a really nifty little kit. I don't remember the cost of it, I know in New Zealand dollars it's about 100 and something, so in American it's probably 70, 80 dollars. This is well worth it if you're studying Marine Force, because they're really cool, really small, so... As usual, um, hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like and subscribe, uh, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. Oh, and keep an eye out for our thousand subscriber video. Uh, that should be coming up soonish, maybe even straight after this one. Um, you'll get instructions on what to do in that one. So, thanks for watching. Remember to keep on watching, like and subscribe.